Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Data Tech. I'm your host Anand Kumar. Today we're going to talk about DynamoDB and its core component. Let's get started. The first thing, what is DynamoDB? DynamoDB is a fully managed NoSQL database service which is designed to provide fast performance at any scales. If we are building a mobile application or a high traffic websites where we need consistent single digit milliseconds latency, there we can use DynamoDB as our database. DynamoDB support only key value and document type of data models in NoSQL. It does not support graph and column width uh, data models. DynamoDB also support asset transactions, pretty much like RDS or any operational database. There are some other key features of DynamoDB, pretty much like uh, the other services in cloud. Like here, the data is replicated across multiple availability zones, and it also provides on-demand ba backups, point-in-time recoveries, and also encryption at rest. And if we talk about like what kind of use cases or where we can use DynamoDB, it's a perfect for mobile apps or web apps or gaming, ad tech, or a wide range of applications that require quick response time. Uh, so it could, if we want to give another example, or like if we think about it, like any e-commerce sites where like product catalogs, shopping carts, in those places, we can use DynamoDB as, as a database. And even also in, in any content management systems, pretty much like YouTube, or even like Instagram, those kind of where we are producing content, like to store those content, manage it, DynamoDB can be used. Now let's look into the core components of DynamoDB. So if we look at this image on screen, uh, here we see six, seven items. The first one is the DynamoDB table. The second one is the item we're going to talk about, then attribute, and then we see a composite key, partition key, partition key and sort key. So we'll start with the table. So table in DynamoDB is similar to the other database systems it's basically store our data. So it is like a, a tabular format where we have rows and columns. If we talk about items, items uh, are pretty similar or quite similar to the concept of rows in RDBMS. So these, you can think like these are the rows in this table. And a table contains zero or more items. And, uh, and the next item is the, or the next thing we wanna talk about is attribute. Attribute, it is similar to columns in RDBMS. Then you must be thinking how it is different from, from relational databases. So as we know, DynamoDB is NoSQL, it is a schema-less. So what that means is like, in relational databases, whenever we defining a tables, we have to define of the scheme of the table upfront, while in here, we don't have to define the schema other than other than if we talk about only primary key, which we're going to talk in a while, uh, we don't have to define anything. So every table must have a primary key, but uh, the, there are no constraints on non-key attributes. And it also, the other difference between like RDBMS and DynamoDB, it can, manage both structure and not, or semi-structure kind of data like JSON and XML. Uh, now let's uh, uh, let's talk about the primary key. So whenever we create a table, we must specify a primary key for this for the table, which uniquely identify each item in the table. And there could be two types of primary key, partition key and a composite key. So if we look at this table on screen, uh, there is no data, but basically primary key is something which can uniquely identify each record. So, and it can be of two types, composite and, primary and partition key. The partition key is basically a single attribute that used to identify uh, the each item. So if we think about like user's data, user ID could be a partition key. Or if we think about, let's say, student, student ID could be a partition key. And it is the partition key is also known as hash key because DynamoDB use the value of uh, this partition key 
as an input to the internal hash function which it uses and whatever output comes from that internal hash function will determines where the item will be stored so that's like a that's something happens internally we 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 are not aware about it but that's something to keep in mind because uh we want our data to be distributed equally in dynamodb or uniformly we don't want to create uh, like hot partitions kind of issue and the next is uh, the next type of primary key is the composite key so if you look at this composite key is basically the combination of it's a combination of a partition key and sort key so in this case uh, uh, if we think about let's say same student data but uh, it's a student data about what courses they're taking so uh, one student can have multiple courses right so in that case student id will become partition id but sort key will be the subject name so that the the combination of both of them will be unique to identify that item okay and here also the like a uh, dynamodb use whatever value we have in partition key um, as an input to our input to its internal hash function and based on whatever output comes it decide where it will store and the sort key will be used to just store the data in the sorted format and the other thing which i want to just like if you look at the spectra uh, there you will find like each items need not have all the attributes that's not like a rdbms so for example first item might have couple of, might have all the attributes second might not have all maybe like two it and as i said there is no constraint so it's possible we have items where we there is no other attributes other than prime partition key or other than primary key okay uh, the other thing i was talking about the data distribution which we talked uh, already is like whenever uh, uh, basically whenever uh, like based on the primary key at dynamodb decide where this dynamo like based on the value of the primary key put it into the hash function whatever is output outcome comes out of it it decide where uh, the item will be stored but if we think about it like part like what is a part like what it's doing like here it's basically storing them in partition and partition is just a unit of storage for a table where data is stored by dynamodb and the concept is pretty same even if you for example if you're reading a data from a dynamodb table it use the value from uh, primary key uh, into the like it, it's use that value in its hash function and whatever value comes out of it it use that to locate uh, the item in the partition uh, the last thing we're going to talk about, like, let's just look or try to understand or look into like how, how, uh, with an example. Okay. So if you look at on the left side, we have a, like a, a JSON file with people. And here you can see we have a key value items. So like key value pairs. So person ID, last name, first name, phone number. And if anything, like if you think about these curly braces these are like one item so if we think about this people json file we have three items in it and the first item have four attributes and the second item have also have four attributes but like and it's a, a different attributes like phone is not there address is not there and in the same way the last item have an extra attribute but not the phone attribute so this can be um, stored in Whenever we're creating this table in DynamoDB, we can have person ID as a as a like a partition key, and we can use sort like a sort key, uh, the first name as a sort key or last name if you want. This is just to show you that uh, like all like whenever in the DynamoDB schema is like it's a schema less, so we can see each items have different attributes. So there is no rigid schema or there is no constraint there and like all the and if we don't have values for those attributes they will be leave blank and also like for example if you look at the street like uh, the address here it will be uh, like a uh, it will be a, like a complex data type or you can think it's like a nested 
uh, level of uh, attributes. So that's all for this video. Stay tuned for upcoming.